Néstor Serra. 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 30 years uh, in the health and fitness industry. Well, uh, more than that. More than that. I, 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 I just put How's that 30 possible? years. How is that possible when, when you're like... Because I started even. to teach swimming when I was nine. Okay. But I was saying like Benjamin Button. <laughs> you're getting younger <laughs> every year. <laughs> Besides the gray hair, you can't <laughs> look what? <laughs> yeah. What do you what is this guy doing? <laughs> yes, and uh but I and also I started to to work on the on the beach. Mm. Teaching uh, how to do windsurf mm. and uh, water ski mm -hmm. when I was 16, 16 years old. You come 16. from a, a family of athletes, right? Yes. Like your mom was a. Uh, my my mother my mother was a swimmer. She was she was like a Catalan champion when she was young. Mm. And my father. Uh, the state of uh, the, in Spain where you were. Yes. You were And uh, my father was uh, a basketball player. He played at the football club Barcelona. And uh, he, he, when he started, they, they, they uh, uh, go to the first division. Oh, wow. They went to the first division. So uh, they were uh, very sportsmen and sportswomen. And, and Spain, uh, Spain had a powerhouse team. They were, be they were starting to beat the... Like USA and stuff back in the day. Yes, yes, and they had, uh, that's why they had to assemble the dream team back yeah. in, back in those days. Yes, they had a very big and and strong team. Uh -huh. <clears throat> and uh, we are four brothers. My sister was also a Spanish champion in in swimming, mm. but she left when she was uh, 17 years old. Mm. And then uh, my brother, my my big brother, he is the the second one. My sister is the first one. My the second one went to to the Olympics and uh, wow. has been. Uh, uh, he he was uh, in masters, world champion as well. So uh, he is uh, very uh, a good, very well recognized there in mm. Spain, and uh, he's still involved in swimming. And the other the other one. The, the the one older than me mm -hmm. he is uh, he was also a Spanish champions for but uh, on of his age and I was the bad one I was the worst <laughs> you did martial arts right when you were a kid yes uh, I left swimming when I was 18 years old and then I started with uh, taekwondo mm. because uh, just to have fun mm -hmm. but uh, when wh when you are have the competition in your veins Uh, you, you ev everything you do, you do it uh, to be the best. And uh, I, I competed as well. I was a uh, Catalan champion and second in Spain. Mm. With big, and Spain is a is a very very uh, strong team. Has a very strong team in Taekwondo. And uh, well, uh, I left because of my uh, studies and my job uh, in in the fitness industry. So that's why. Uh, I, I started to teach Taekwondo also when I was uh, 26 years. Okay. Uh, and, uh, well, I left. I left because I, I started in the, in the fitness, one, biggest, one big fitness chain in, in Barcelona, well, in Spain and, and in Europe, mm. which is called Hans Place. And uh, then you I started to, that, to, yeah. to train functional and to teach functional training and uh, to discover the reality of health not uh, the the health in sports you know and uh, the problems that uh, the playing a sport and competing on a sport can can bring you can bring you it's it's uh, a lot of problems can bring that mm -hmm. to you and I, i know i know <laughs> you know i know you know <laughs> many uh, <laughs> many injuries <laughs> for sure yeah. can happen yeah yes Uh, you uh you um so remember you're, you know you're the you're the world educate you're the edu the leader for for hyperpressive method right yes i'm the, the R -R director of education uh -huh. in the hyperpressive method and uh i i we ha we are teaching now in more than 25 countries mm -hmm. uh the the system but uh it is very strong in in Europe, in Spain, now yeah. in Italy and Belgium, France. 
and also in South America as well. Mm. Uh, here in the U.S., we we have done, I think, one certification in in fitness and uh, probably one or two in in therapy, mm. and uh, we have done in Canada as well, in mm. well different countries. But uh, yes, the progressive method it's uh, it has helped me a lot because it is a postural method uh, that uh, allows you to move better because uh, you 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 are. You are improving your posture, not just uh, static posture, mm. the dynamic one, which is the most important one, because uh, it 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 uh, prepares you to to be more stable instead of increasing the internal pressure, decreasing it, and that's what uh, it's different from another systems. You know, mm. so every system tries to be more stable uh, on your abdominal cavity. Uh, in increasing the, the 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 internal pressure because this is more this gives you more stability uh, like like a balloon you know if if you inflate if, if, a balloon it focuses on the abdominal yes. you know, ca- kind of cavity area yes the the the, diaphragm, the thing is the pelvic floor <clears throat> everything yes the thing is how how the the diaphragm increases the the internal pressure, pressure. pushing down the, the organs mm-hmm. and then the abdominal wall and the pelvic floor reacts to this uh, mm-hmm. pressure and with the with the hypopressives uh, we we have changed that mm-hmm. because uh, we have found a way that is a reflex way uh, in in which the the diaphragm gets more relaxed and the abdominal one wall and the pelvic floor have more tonic strength mm-hmm more reflex strength, mm-hmm. you know, are more activated. And uh, that is helping a lot of people, post-pregnancy women, mm-hmm. and uh, also uh, uh, guys or, or people with uh, back problems, mm-hmm. with abdominal uh, hernias, inguinal hernias, uh, hernias uh, and also with neurologic uh, disorders in this in this. Uh, that in the pelvic floor with problems in in their sex mm-hmm. you know a lot of women with uh, problems uh, because after after the the birth mm. they they have cut the muscles they have cut the the nerves they have cut uh, the fascias mm-hmm. and all that is it's like uh, it's like a disaster af- after a tornado you know yeah 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 and uh, everything they, 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 is they, rebuilt we don't know how so uh, we have found a way to improve that, mm-hmm. to improve, uh, to recover these these structures. I've done a certification in Barcelona, with mm-hmm. your, your home hometown of Barcelona, yes. one time, and we we did it here in Los Angeles. Yes, right, one time, and, uh, and now you're coming to Brazil. <laughs> coming <laughs> to Brazil, exactly. <laughs> so uh, so uh, you know, uh, I didn't understand at the beginning, but then I mm-hmm. I uh, you know you basically the diaphragm and you you know breath apnea you basically breathe out and then you mm-hmm. hold your breath like that yes and then that's how the magic happens in the beginning you just do some basic movements with the breath apnea mm-hmm. and then you start to add complexity right to the, to that yes because uh, of course it's it's like in in chakfit on another system right we have to start with uh, very simple exercises mm-hmm. And once we have, we are able to manage that. Mm-hmm. Uh, we can increase the difficulty, mm-hmm. but uh, the the way is, you breathe out because you want your diaphragm relaxed, mm-hmm. and then we have found that uh, what uh, Marcel Cofrier, which is the creator mm-hmm. of the hypopressive method, he says he he it, it's the neurodivergence, mm-hmm. which is how to even relax more. The diaphragm mm. with a on on a specific postural situation mm. and uh, controlling the breathing mm. and and at the same time that the diaphragm is more relaxed, increase the activation of the abdominal muscles and the pelvic floor muscles, and this is the the difficulty because when you want to to improve your posture. Mm. Uh, but thinking of improving it, this is called the phasic, uh, the phasic strength, mm. 
because you 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 cannot control that because if you put your mind on your muscles uh, and you voluntarily uh, activate them, once you think on another thing, then you you will deactivate that. You will go again to your natural posture. We have it's it's like the software it and the it hardware. It trains it up, uh, uh, so it's subconscious. It, you train it so it stays subconscious. Yeah. Yes. the 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 way you manage the posture is the way it, it's related to the to your uh, your motivation, your uh, stress, mm -hmm. everything. And uh, it's it's like we think think of uh, on on a computer. Mm -hmm. You have the software and the hardware. If you train the muscles, mm -hmm. if you just uh, do, for example, sit ups mm -hmm. or planks, or uh, you are controlling the rotation of your of your body, yes, but you are putting your mind on that. But uh, this is like uh, working on the hardware of your of your body. But it is much much faster and much much effective it sticks uh, yes yeah. uh, how to to work on the software on the program and uh, we have found a, a way to reprogram your body reprogram the way you manage with this internal pressure and it's for these hernias for these prolapses mm. for the unitary incontinence mm. for uh, back disorders it th if you decrease the the pressure mm. it's like s you're carrying of your body mm -hmm. you know i remember one of the tests that we did in the in the certification is you 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 basically put your fingers underneath the ribs to see how tight the your diaphragm is yes and people that are really stressed out it's really tight there's yes. no you can't get in there yes and if you do a lot of uh, strength training for example and uh if you do the the power breathing or you do the 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 bracing the mm. abdominal bracing mm. your diaphragm is pushing down mm. and uh, you're 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 squeezing your abs and if you can do your pelvic floor and it you, the the center of your body is much I'm trying to remember you had somebody sit, sit on your lap yeah and you had them sit on your lap and you had them cough so <laughs> Yes, the other pelvic floor. <laughs> we were trying to remember who who that was. <laughs> if it was a guy or a girl, <laughs> no, it was a girl for sure. Because, <laughs> <laughs> but but uh, the the you know it's it's very personal, right? But you were able to make it. You know, I mean, you made it fun, but professional. So all of us were kind of we we were like uh, yeah, we were like we were so into it, yeah, because yes, you because. Made it, we have a lot of taboos in 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 our lives, mm -hmm. and then that is uh, doesn't allow us to really to deeply improve mm -hmm. the people's lives. Mm -hmm. And uh, as everything we do, if we if we uh, if we call us uh, fitness professionals, we we have to help people, and help people is making them live. Uh, uh, die young, but as the long as they can, as live your best life, right? Be as here. late as they can, yeah, yeah. you know. So with a good quality, yes, good quality and uh, anti-aging. This anti-aging training is, but the first law should be okay. Uh, do the things right, mm. and uh, then repeat the things that you do. But if you do the things wrong and you repeat it. Uh, you will you will improve the unstable and stability, you know. So, and this is a problem. This could be a very big problem in the in the actual society. Mm -hmm. So, uh, first of all, change the way you manage the, the internal pressure, mm -hmm. because this is this can this can uh, decrease or how do you say uh, damage your your tissues. Mm -hmm. You know, because uh, a lot of stress on the connective and tissue, the organs, and, yes. and everything. Yeah. Yes, the, the organs are pressing da pressing down the pelvic floor, and if the muscle is not uh, well activated, the connective tissue is suffering, mm -hmm. and at the end you will have a, a a poor connective tissue that will will allow your organs to go down, and to and and of course you will have problems related to that. Uh, would you mind sharing your story? How you got involved with the hyperpressive method? 
Yes, I well once I I started to do taekwondo. Well, my my spine and my weight. I'm a big guy, and mm. uh, all my brothers we have uh, problems because how, how uh, tall are you? I'm one ninety four, which is uh, I don't know six the foot and maybe six inches. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. You're tall. One one pound like bigger you get, than you. I feel like you get taller taller every year. <laughs> 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 yes, and uh, but I, I, my weight it's uh, 105 kilos, which is uh, two 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 thirty probably two thirty pounds. Yeah, and uh, so for my back it's it's uh, a problem to be big. Uh, and <coughs> some of the well, positions it's, you're it's doing not it. a problem. It's depending on what you do. Uh -huh. And uh, so many years swimming, and then changing my 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 sport to. Uh, to taekwondo mm. uh, with the back rotations and the, the with the primer plyometric training it it completely uh, hurt my my back so i have uh, three discal hernias but uh, when i was uh, 32 mm. more or less i i I was uh, like uh, for four years or five years i i quit the the competition in taekwondo and then I wanted to to come back to compete again, and uh, I start training. And uh, when I was like six months training, mm. and uh, I felt down on the floor, and my hip uh, moved to the side, and then uh, one of these discal hernias got uh, really hurt, hurt me. And I was like five days without sleeping, without moving, like sitting in in this position, wow. and uh, I couldn't move. I couldn't walk. Uh, and the, the doctor says that uh, said that I, I didn't have any dyscalonia because uh, the the how do you say the the X rays mm -hmm. X rays didn't show that. Mm -hmm. And uh, once I do X, RM, X rays MRIs, yes. Mm -hmm. When when I did uh, um, another another test and mm -hmm. uh, I don't know that that's it's like the scanner I don't know the name in English sorry, but uh, they they found out that it was a discal hernia but very big, and uh, then I started my recovery mm -hmm. uh, using uh, uh, well going to osteopath to a very big very good physiotherapist uh, from the football club Barcelona. Uh, medical chiropractors, mm. and uh, and I started my recovery w in in the conventional way, you know, but trying different things. Uh, but uh, then I discovered uh, the the hypopressive method, and I, st I I was like amazing. I was like, wow, this is this is a completely different. But Marcel, way. he's from is he from Belgium? Belgium, Belgium. But he lives in in Palma de Mallorca in Barcelona, okay. in, in Spain. In Spain. Mm -hmm. And uh, I started to train that, and uh, well, I was improving, mm. but not so much. And one day I told him, uh, "Look, Marcel, I I I'm not improving. Uh, I really trust in your method." And uh, I really understand your method, and that's why I'm collaborating with you, organizing mm -hmm. certifications, and working with you. But I don't feel a big difference mm. with my with in my in my in my back, you know. Mm. And he said, "But are you still doing other things?" Mm. And I said, "Yes, of course. Mm. The the things that uh, the program that the physiotherapist and the chiropractor gave me." The abdominals, the stretching, the stretching, etc. And he said, "Okay, remove that for one month or two months. Mm. Just do hypopressives." And I and I tried every morning, thirty minutes, forty five minutes hypopressive training before going to work, and uh, it was a a com uh, complete success. It was like changed your life. Yes, it changed my life. Yes, it was, I could move. Before that, I couldn't do a squat. Mm. I couldn't squat. You're so like a cripple. Yes, it's, it's a, and uh, I Hand, couldn't handicap, run. Handicapped, yeah. I couldn't go to, to do ski. Uh, I, nothing. So, and, and I started to, to, to move my body to be more mobile, yeah. to, to, to weight loads, mm. 
to 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 move loads. Yeah. Uh, um, so it was a, a, an another life. It opened me a, a door that I thought that it was closed for forever. You know, and now I'm yeah, I'm hope. I'm I'm able. I know my back is weak. It's the weakest point in my body. But uh, now, I'm, now I'm able to to move weights, to to lift weights, uh, to do deadlift with uh, heavy weights, mm. uh, to do squats. I was uh, squat last week. Squat, squat I was squat doing first, yeah. squats with uh, 250 pounds, 260. So uh, kilos or uh, no pounds. pounds in kilos, know. it's uh, 122, 23. I, I was doing 22.5. See. Which is a lot of kilos, uh, you know, for me. And and uh, come on, uh, f- uh, three reps, four reps, and uh, jumping and uh, fighting uh, again, you know, uh, yeah, doing jujitsu. We, we did jujitsu together. We did jujitsu here and uh, and also uh, and in Barcelona. Come on, yes, in Barcelona, <laughs> uh, private class, <laughs> <laughs> and uh, also uh, boxing because every time I, I was. Punching, mm. my back hurt me, and now I can I can do uh, boxing, and probably the next day I'm like, not not pain, but uh, like I feel uh, tired, but but I can do it and I, I can push hard, you know. So and 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 fight, you know, which I love it. Uh, so that's why it changed my life, but not not just the hypopressive method. This was like the the first step. Uh, it is for me and for my clients mm. because I have, I have. It has helped a lot of my clients to change their lives. Mm. Uh, for example, a girl who had a, a prolapse of of the. <laughs> it's a called a rectocele, prolapse in the anus, mm. and uh, second degree, which she starts to go out of wow. the body, and uh, she completely she recovers in two months. Wow. Completely recovers that. How old? Uh, she? She's sixty. Okay. Now she is she's sixty two, and she was sixty. And uh, which is very common now huh, with yes. a lot of females. And training by by herself mm. or a police guy, a police guy who is uh, taller than me, like two or three centimeters taller than me, big big guy, and enormous. You know, like like a viking. It it looks like, like a viking with the bear, and beard. he couldn't move. He couldn't uh, touch his feet and uh, he came with me and uh, in in two months he was working again and he was uh, in in six months he got into the special uh, forces in of the police you know the, the 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 first responders in the mm-hmm. police so uh, amazing SWAT, SWAT team or something yes yeah. something uh, the, it's called the brimo and uh, it's it's very very known there in, in Spain in Catalonia, but so these these things that change the lives of the life of the people it's very important, and but other things like have changed my life. Tagfit has changed my life. Uh, the way that I understand training, mm. that I understand health, uh, other things like uh, mapping training system. Which is a uh, neuromechanics, uh, neuromechanic training, mm-hmm. uh, the uh, mus- muscle activation techniques as well. Mm-hmm. So, uh, other things that has helped me mm-hmm. to Im- to to that be better mm-hmm. and and to improve, to 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 move better and to to, to do other things. Mm-hmm. You know, so it's. But the hypopressive method was like the beginning, and it is like the fundamentals to change your mindset. To yes, that uh, there's different ways. Yes, for you to the right ways to be your best. Yes, you don't have to listen to the the normal things, right? The I guess the the most popular things in a way, right? Mm-hmm. But the more you want the truth. Yes, you're, of course. You're, you're you're passionate about the truth, things that really work. Uh, things that really work not marketing and, uh, not marketing not marketing and uh <clears throat> also because if you have any pain you have to fix that that it's causing you the, that pain mm. because the pain is just uh, an interpretation right, of right. The, of your body and also of your memories mm-hmm. 
uh, the things that uh, you you have done in your life, and and then maybe your, genetics, right? Yes, genetics, everything. So uh, your brain is more sensitive mm -hmm. to those things, and uh, with with the 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 information that you received of the joints or of the different parts of your body, then you interpret that. And if it's dangerous or can be dangerous for you, you the your your yeah, system gives a, a a signal danger. of pain, mm -hmm. of danger, which is and pain, yeah. pain and motor movement, motor control. This is the two things that you can do to un and allow your body to move. Mm -hmm. You know, so uh, we have to we have to know that we have to. Uh, try to control mm -hmm. these these things and to improve that the only thing because of course if you go to therapy it can help you but if you want to fix it you have to do an active training you have to train your body and uh, find the way that uh, you are caring of your body not just uh, compressing it decompressing it the decompression for me is the is the key but not always decompressing uh, you have to uh, put weight to to learn how to manage the weight but you have also to compensate the, this weight so and many of the training systems they they try to uh, put pressure on your body not not just the internal pressure i mean uh, if you if you train with uh, heavy squats mm. Uh, your body is stressed. Mm. You, you are putting a lot of uh, kilograms or a lot of in, pounds in, in, in your... In one way, yeah. In one way. Yeah. So you have to find a way of decompress these joints. Uh, we call it um, de decoapt these joints mm. and allow the fascia to recover, allow the muscles also to recover. And uh, this this is the, the thing that people probably don't don't really understand mm -hmm. that you have to first of all you have to move well but then repeat the movement mm -hmm. as uh, uh i think uh one 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 uh guru said but uh, also apart from moving well and repeat the movement you have to compensate the movement because it's not just uh move a lot because mm -hmm. if you repeat one movement all the time you will decompensate your body mm -hmm. it's much more than move is it move m m move well move often right move a, the, move well the, move often FM, and FM, then compensate FMS. the movement right right mm -hmm. compensate what you're doing mm -hmm. because it's not just how is it done mm -hmm. uh, externally you have to see how is it done internally mm -hmm. and uh, what happens to those structures that uh, are you are using to repeat that movement, so uh, and <clears throat> you 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 have to be mobile and mm. stable because the strength mm. is the key. Strength is the key, mm. but how you manage the strength mm. is uh, is the di difficult thing, you know. For so the you trainers, have the, so you have the balance. Yes, mm -hmm. yes. Uh, for the for the trainers, the how how you, uh, you, you we call it the um, the clinical eye, mm -hmm. you know the trainer has to not just know how to improve your 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 performance, mm -hmm. he has to look at you and detect what you need, and then improve that. And this is the most difficult thing, the detection, mm -hmm. the detection, I think. You, uh, you know, um, you've been a big part of my TACFIT journey. You've helped me a lot immensely when I was training for my, my TACFIT team leader. I don't know if I would have been able to do it if I didn't have you coming and showing me like the, you know, the techniques, like giving without in expecting anything to in return. You know, we, we just... Right, you came oh, out come for on, that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Come on, we Come on. But that's the way you are, so I really appreciate that, you know. Mm -hmm. And uh, being a, you have been a big influence, so I'm really excited to have you out uh, running our, either our the Club Bell certification and for TACFIT and, and the TACFIT certification. 
it's my honor my yeah. honor because uh yeah. i'm i have a lot of to 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 uh be grateful to tagfit and club bills and uh in my life in my body mm. and also professionally and uh it's like uh, on, uh it's my dream my dream and and my honor to to be here yeah i appreciate your passion like you've i think you've trained the most uh tag fit team leaders you know out of any anybody so yeah. in spain we have uh, trained like uh 15 team leaders mm -hmm. and uh we have helped them uh me and my team of right, course right. And uh, also uh, people from other countries that uh, has trained for for the team leader test and uh, but like myself, <laughs> yes. Yeah. But it's not just to train; it is more to understand the system and understand how to perform better mm -hmm. and uh, to be a better coach mm -hmm. and a better trainer. Yeah, so you can help other people be their best. Yes, uh, well, uh, I think me, uh, of course, uh, we, we, we are good, uh, but it's if you have the correct team and the correct leader, you can achieve very big things. It's like here, uh, what I've seen in here in your, in your gym, in, in Legacy, uh, you have a, a lot of passionate guys, but someone has to lead that and it's you who is leading that thank you and uh the success is not you it's your team for sure but who is driving the car who is uh, uh managing that is 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 the leader and the leader is the one is not the the best performer mm. is the, the that guy that uh, is helping his team to achieve their goals and their dreams and i think you you're doing that here because uh so that's why you have a lot of clients and and that guy that i saw yesterday teaching mm. he was so passionate that the 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 passion he was giving to the Professor people Uday, yeah. yes incredible we have amazing incredible. coaches yeah i'm really blessed i'm really grateful yeah and uh like sometimes i have to shake my head like whoa whoa like Yes, yeah. <laughs> you're grateful. You're grateful. grateful. They are grateful to you, mm. and uh, you. but you've done that. Mm. Thank you. It's not easy to do that. It it is not easy to to trust in the team mm. and uh, to improve them, to help them to improve, and this is the the main goal. And uh, you have done that. Thank so, you. So uh, I think. Uh, you you said that I have uh, showed you and I have teach you, but you have teach me as well. So I have learned a lot, lots of things from from you, and uh, you. I'm very grateful for that. I'm excited. I'm excited to be working with you. You know, as me too. New, as a new international educational director and European director, I'm really excited. I'm really excited. Uh, it's for me. It's a. It's a. Uh, like a dream come true. Really, it's something that's I guess, I guess has been manifesting maybe in the back of my my head. I didn't. I never really thought about it, but uh, mm -hmm. um, I, I always felt it was right. You know, your your leadership skills, your work, your teaching ability, your your uh, your heart as well. Yeah, your mm -hmm. your the environment. You know, when every time I go to Barcelona, we have a lot of fun and and uh, we work hard. You know, but we have mm -hmm. fun at the same time. Yeah. So it makes it fun. Like it makes it fun, uh, and we get enjoy you know, the journey. Enjoy the journey. We enjoy the journey. <laughs> Yeah, we've uh, yeah. I'm excited to go to Brazil with you uh, next week and uh, plan out our 2020 and mm -hmm. 2021 and uh, move things forward. Um, what has what has TACFIT what has TACFIT done for you? TACFIT, <coughs> so going back to the you know just yes yes TACFIT, yeah. TACFIT for me is uh, is a it's the best system for me as a system. Of course, you f you can find uh, other methods that uh, help you to to improve your strength or uh, your uh, your uh, health. Mm -hmm. But TACFIT, it is a complete thing that involves everything that I have learned from other systems or other methods. And uh, the best the 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 good things that I have learned 
in tech fit are included even the the control of the internal pressure mm. but through movement mm -hmm. but how how do you breathe and uh, to decrease the uh, this this pressure when you are compressing and uh, how do you move and also uh, for me it's uh, this uh, obsession with the detail uh, it is it is uh, something that uh, has teach me and I, I am applying to, a, to to the rest of the systems that I'm working with. So TechFit has changed my life. Uh, the, the learning and yes, teaching abilities. The, the learning and teaching, yes. And, and also here. how to, how to, how to uh, program mm -hmm. the, the training, the functional training of our, uh, our uh, clients and, and public. Because... And everybody talks about functional training. Yes, fun uh, everybody, it's, it's very easy to talk about functional training. But functional training, it's the training that improves your life mm -hmm. and helps you to do what you want to do. Mm -hmm. So functional training can be, can be like a, a, a muscle activation technique because you have a, a very weak muscle. Uh, or can be uh, hypopressives, or can be Pilates. So it's not, it's not just uh, fancy movements with uh, fancy stuff and uh, moving a lot of joints at the same time, you know. And uh, TACFIT is a very clever way of improving your your system and improving your your body and and your brain and and your brain. Because no other system is dealing with the stress mm -hmm. the directly like TACFIT. So it's, it's incredible for me. And, uh, well, it, it, it is helping uh, the life of many, many people as well. Mm -hmm. So in, in my club in Barcelona, we have uh, more than 100 people training TACFIT. Mm -hmm. And uh, they, they are very passionate with that. Yeah. Same, same here. Yes. People have been training for, we've had it now for over four years. Mm -hmm. People still training after four years. Every week. Yes. My neighbor, just, yeah, it's amazing. Including, including myself. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it is. Do you like to train with club bells? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Do you like club bells? <laughs> club bells. Uh, it's, it's the oldest, uh, it's the oldest uh, tool to train. Yeah, yeah. The, the first one that people We're lucky used. is that we held clubs, right? <laughs> yes, We're designed to hold those things. <laughs> yes, but uh, it's the for me it's the the best one. Mm -hmm. It is the best one, but you have to compensate the training with the club balls. But As if well. you don't, if you if you just train tr club balls and club balls and club balls. Of course, you can have also a, a lot of stress uh, on your elbows. Mm -hmm. it, it can bring you a lot of stress on your elbows. So you have to train club belts uh, with intelligent, mm -hmm. intelligent training. But is is the is the is the unique tool? It's a, it's a, it's unique because you can you can improve your the how. You you move your hand mm -hmm. and uh, with the whole body because you are loading the hand and uh, the center of gravity of the club ball it's eccentric mm -hmm. on your on your grip mm -hmm. but uh, when you you can control this center of gravity uh, unlike in kettlebells for example that you can't control mm -hmm. uh, you can move it but you can't control. And uh, with the club, ball, yes, but all the um, sports implements, all all the sports tools, mm. uh, have the same the same design as the club, ball, with the with the center of gravity eccentric, but in the line of the grip, and this is why you can control it because it is in the same line of the of the grip, but uh, not inside the grip, which is a dumbbell, for example. So uh, you can improve a lot of uh, strength, stability, and also you can swing it. And when you are swinging it, you are decompressing your joints. 
and you are accelerating the the load mm. and uh, this is uh, the double or four times including the the weight you're increasing four times so when you grab a club ball of five kilos mm. it is totally different than grabbing a dumbbell of five kilos or a kettlebell of uh, well yeah six or eight kilos right so uh and uh, yeah. helps you a lot in, in in your stability and and your the nutrition of your joints then sure. the nutrition of your yeah, uh, fascia some of your fluids and grout substance changing the oil right in the joints yes um, yes yeah. changing that yes so uh, for me it's a uh, um, unique tool uh, i use other tools like barbells and dumbbells and kettlebells in my training And you But started working with the Y bell, the Y bells, right? The Y bells, yes. The Y bells is incredible. This is a very design. clever design and uh, intelligent tool as well. What, what is it? It's like a triangle. It's like a triangle, kettlebell, right? a dumbbell with, dumbbell with four it. grips outside. Okay. You know, uh, one one grip in the center and four, four outer grips, mm -hmm. uh, three uh, three outer grips, four four grips in in total. And you can use it as a dumbbell, as a kettlebell. Well, mimic, mimicking a kettlebell. Mm. Uh, you can use it mimicking a, a, a medicine ball mm. with the grips, mm. uh, and also like a parallel uh, or push-up bar. Mm. So it's uh, very useful. You, you so it's four tools in one, mm. and uh, you can flow with the movement. You can change the grip. You can change the exercise. So that it helps you to to don't be repeating the same movement because if you repeat the same movement for many many reps, that can can also uh, be stressful for your your structure. So okay. and this your body, your is allows you to, to change that, adapts to that, right? Yes, adapts. One part gets tight and another part part gets <coughs> loose, and then you're unbalanced. Yes, and uh, for example, if you do many squats. Uh, if you do, for example, 300 squats, mm. uh, or you are squatting every day, mm. your back, you have pain on your back. Mm. But it's not because you are you, you don't have control on your back. It is because you are shortening your, uh, your hips, your uh, psoas iliac. Mm. And this is losing the connection, mm. and it's becoming weaker, And because it's becoming weaker, then it, it gets tight. And uh, also with the diaphragm, that has has a everything's connected fibers connection with the with the psoas. Mm -hmm. uh, if it's also tight, the diaphragm, because you are managing the, this internal pressure, sure. mm -hmm. then you have pain, and then your back is uh, deactivated your uh, uh, paravertebral muscles. Mm -hmm. And uh, then it's it's like uh, the complete picture, you know. So and it's because you are doing too many squats, <laughs> and then people, what do they do? Overuse, they, right? They they stretch the the psoas. Mm. No, it's <laughs> it's not it's not the way. The way it's to activate it and to to strengthen it, not to deactivate it and to stretch it. Mm. So these things, repeating the same exercise, and. Uh, The, if you don't compensate the movement uh, can can hurt you can uh, and can make your body weaker so uh, I think uh, doing the correct things uh, the correct technique uh, repeating the technique but compensating it it's the it's doing the way the right way yes so you're so you're kind of dedicated dedicated your life to huh yes I'm That's dedicating my life yes it's my passion. passion. <laughs> And my passion is to share this, yeah. to to help my clients, of course, yeah. but to share this with uh, with other instructors and then help them to to improve their yeah. professional, the, the profession, and then to improve uh, and to help uh, many many people. You know, because I'm I'm like I think last year I did uh, I was forty uh, four weekends. Mm. Uh, Working uh, on on certifications, on, on certifications or workshops and forty four certifications. Yes, last year, and well, certifications and workshops. Right, right, Probably right. certifications were like twenty or twenty two, 
but uh, so if you if you think that I have an average of uh, 20 people in my certifications uh, I was uh, in, helping in dif- like in different parts of the world yes different oh. parts of the world so uh, every year I can I can uh, reach like uh, 40, 50 new trainers, no, 400, sorry, 400, 500 new trainers. Mm-hmm. Uh, this this is, if they help 10 people, each one of them, mm. I can help indirectly, by, I can help 5,000 people. 5,000, yeah. And uh, my clients are like uh, 150 in uh, group classes and private classes. So uh, it's the, the way to change the world is uh, with the education mm-hmm. and the correct education so uh, i think i think we we have to do that we have to I'm help with you. people i'm with you love it yeah my 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 background of course the martial arts right my passion but uh i'm crazy about you know tag fit and i love all, everything we're talking about the hyper oppressive it, it's all so interconnected huh mm-hmm. the way yes. of life the right way to to do things yeah you can live your best life. Yes, and uh, you have to, uh, of course, for me, it has changed my life. Mm. But uh, the best the best feedback that I can have is when a, a trainer mm. or a client directly come to me and they say, oh, wow, this is amazing. Mm. This is, I'm really passionate because it is helping me or it is helping my clients. If... It helps the, their clients. Mm. I'm more grateful because it is. I have shared my passion to another trainer, you know, and it, this is the best thing. It's the best thing. It's awesome. <coughs> How did your gym start? How did Ludus Training Center start? Uh, well, it started because uh, like I was. You're in the middle. You're like. Uh, I mean. 10 minute walk from uh from uh what's the famous uh the the, the la plaza catalunya or the sagrada familia sagrada or familia. Yes. like a 10 minute I'm, walk from there yes i'm in the center of like the best place in barcelona well best place not for uh this kind of business but the best yeah. place like centrally be, located right yes centrally yeah, in the located. middle of barcelona yes and uh yes i started because i was looking with my girlfriend uh, we were looking for a for a, to a for a place to to start a gym, and then there was a pilot studio which was uh, losing studio. money, oh. and uh, they they wanted to close. And I said, okay, I, I will I will keep the 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 rights the mm. rights the lease the lease. Uh, well, I I will get I will I will uh, get it and uh-huh. and start to manage it. And it started with a pilot studio. It it was called Equilibrium. Okay. Very nice name. Very nice name. And uh, we we started uh, putting there some hypopressives. Mm. And then it, this was in 2010, 2011. And then I I was I went to to Italy to Rimini, and I discovered uh, Tagfit there. And uh, I was amazing. It, I was amazed by, by that. And blew, blew uh, your mind. Yes. And then in 2000, I was. I was. I got certified in clubbers first, mm. then in Chuckfit, and then in CST. After that, in CST, and uh, and in Flowfit as well. And, uh, well, everything. Yeah. But in 2013, uh, we started with the classes in in wow. Ludus. And we, 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 it was, uh, it was. We changed the name, mm-hmm. and we put Ludus because uh, it is for me. It's the first gym in the world, in the in the history, uh, because uh, Ludus was where the gladiators mm-hmm. trained, and the gladiators are the the first sportsmen, because they they were training not to the to the war. They were training to a competition, mm. and uh, before that, everybody was training to to be more uh, uh, to, to improve the skills on the war, but not on a competition. 
Of course, the competition was to kill to the die, other yeah. one. But <laughs> <laughs> it's not a war. It's a competition. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And uh, one, one on one, huh? Yes, one yeah. on one. Yeah. And one on one or one uh, against the tiger, <laughs> or, or one against the Romans, the, lions, yeah. <laughs> the legions. <laughs> And uh, yes, so that's why we decided to call it Ludus. And uh, but the tag feed we started in 2013 with the first certification in Barcelona. Mm. Uh, but before that, we did uh, the the summer stage mm. with uh, with the people that wanted to be certified as well. You and uh, Pedro were the first uh, certified coaches, huh? The, well, the we were the. We were four in four, in okay. in Spain uh, field instructors, mm -hmm. but Pedro and I we were the first uh, team leaders. I see. And uh, I I uh, we were training for the team leader test, and uh, Pedro was pushing me hard to do that because uh, he's uh, he's one of well he's one of my best friends and my brother, and uh, he was he, he helped me a lot to to achieve the the team leader test because it, it it was a very difficult team leader the team leader test for me for my weight you know it's difficult and uh, he helped me a lot and uh, we we started with the with the Iberian Legion mm -hmm. the the Spanish and Portuguese uh, Legion mm -hmm. and Andorra <laughs> and uh, yes we started with that. And it was uh, very nice, very nice to to develop the system, the academy. C controlled, like you told me, the is controlled beast mode. Yes, <laughs> controlled beast mode. <laughs> the three, the three tests, the three physical tests. You have yes, to do. the three, the the echo, the foxtrot, and then the the qual test. We did the the echo and the foxtrot in the morning, and then when we finished the foxtrot, thirty minutes later. We did the we did the the qual test, wow. and uh, Pedro awesome. helped me because I I started with the foxtrot. I was the first one, and then he was the second one, and my my weak test was the qualification test, mm -hmm. and uh, I didn't reach the fifty points before, uh, and uh, he said, uh, when when we finished the the foxtrot, when he finished the foxtrot. We had like thirty minutes mm -hmm. for the for the qual test, and he said, "I will do it be, uh, first, so you have thirty minutes more to to rest." Teamwork makes the dream. Yes, work, huh? and uh, he was good on that test. He he did like uh, fifty five points, mm -hmm. and uh, I did fifty two, I think, or fifty one. So it was uh, difficult but achievable. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Spiritual training, huh? Yes, yeah, it is. Uh, well, uh, to have, uh, I, I'm here, I'm here because it's my passion, mm. but uh, I'm here also because I like to work on a team, and uh, I don't want to be alone. It's, uh, I don't want to develop things alone. I don't want. Of course, I can put my brain and my and my knowledge on that, but uh, I want to develop things on a team and with people that. Uh, have the same beliefs uh, and in people which I, I can trust mm -hmm. and uh, want yes integrity and also who wants to improve and have the same vision you know the same beliefs the same vision so uh, and one that's where the magic happens huh yeah so uh, that's what we we that's why we developed the 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 legion in in my country. Mm -hmm. Because uh, we we have the the stronger together yeah. uh, sentence uh, yeah you know, uh, mute, quote yeah mode, Motto, yeah. quote quote yes because uh, we we believe in that mm -hmm. because I can help you you can help me yeah. and uh, you you have the better skills than me in one things in in those sure. things but I have better skills than you in that, the sure. other things so we can help each other. And will be we will be stronger for sure. For sure. Um, what did it mean when you uh, when you passed the last test of the of your team leader test? How, do you yes. remember the feeling you had? Amazing after the qual. Uh, amazing because I I I thought that I I couldn't pass. Mm. I I was until until the 
I, uh, it was a two days uh, certification. And until Friday, I thought I couldn't pass. And, uh, and, and Pedro was telling me, yes, you can, you can, you good on this, you good on that. And, uh, well, I was very good in Foxtrot. Mm. Uh, in Echo, it's a technical test, which uh, I was uh, good, but not very good. Mm. And, uh, but the qualification test, it was very, very hard. For me, it was the opposite. It was the Foxtrot that yeah. was very difficult. For me, the, the pull-ups, but uh, the Foxtrot, the, I was doing it in 17 minutes. So, and the, the cap time, it's 20. So, uh, <clears throat> it's, uh, it was easy. <laughs> you know what's easy with 32 kilos and 20 kilos club bell, nothing is easy yeah. but and uh but the the qual test before the the certification uh -huh. the screen push up was counting one one two mm -hmm. two mm -hmm. and then that that this was the reason that was impossible for me and uh you didn't have the technique down yes mm -hmm. and uh alberto then says that said that uh, th it was counting one two three four so uh, th that helped me a lot mm. but even with this counting i couldn't <laughs> i couldn't reach yeah. the numbers but with this change i thought oh uh, so i was misunderstanding how to how to count mm. good because now you can do more i can do more and i'm in 49 i was in 49 with this uh, change and i said I can do it. Mm. I can do it. And uh, the first night uh, f to Friday to Saturday, because I was organizing, I was translating. I was. Uh, I received all the clothes, uh, the clothing the, yeah. the, the 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 day before. So I I didn't sleep any any minutes from Friday to Saturday, mm. and no no minutes r nothing. I was the whole Saturday translating, helping, organizing everything and training and doing the test. Yeah. And uh, Saturday to Sunday, I slept like uh, six hours and a half, seven hours. And then when I woke up on Saturday, Sunday, I said, this is my day, come on. I'm the strongest man in the world. <laughs> and I... Uh, I did it, but when I when I, I I was almost crying when I when I uh, passed the test, I was almost crying because it 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 was very difficult, a long a long uh, ride to arrive there. Yeah, I I cried. Yeah, I cried. I got after I did my last tripod, I uh, just all even not even for the team leader, but just the last how many years it was the whole journey. It like meant so much to me just to kind of do the last rep and actually kind of go through the actual the 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 real the yeah just the going through the motion and finishing what I put on my mind mm -hmm. to yeah it meant like so much to me like yeah I can yes I know I know your 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 trip I know your training I know your improvement and it was amazing the first time you came to Ludus to do the the I th I, Lofit, th I think Lofit, yeah. Lofit yeah. class. Uh, and uh, they said, yes, he's a world champion in BGG. And I said, I, I thought, wow, he, he must be a, a beast, <laughs> you know. <laughs> and I saw you and I said, I thought, oh. <laughs> I couldn't move at all. <laughs> Can, can't move at all. <laughs> everything is locked and, up, yeah. And uh, the the coordination, Frozen. you know, yeah, everything yeah. like very tight. Yeah. And uh I, I remember that uh, I thought that uh, oh come on he he can be certified in tag fit and in in flow fit mm -hmm. so because your technique your everything mm -hmm. but I saw your improvement mm -hmm. when I was here in 2018 mm -hmm. and 17 October 17 and uh, 18 in 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 2000 I, I your your improvement was amazing. It was amazing. So you you have done a l very hard work to to be there. Mm. You so that's yeah, why I I, I told lot, you it meant a lot to me. Like I for, can for I sure. can do whatever I put my mind to, huh? Yes. Yeah, so if you uh, do the right things, like you're saying, if you do the right things, and yes. I really believed in Scott's Scott's stories and you know everything that I read, and, and I believed, you know, I just believed. Yes, and, and it worked. Of course, because you have your mind on that. And uh, even if, of course, 
we are not the best performers. Mm. We are not that because yes. you have your your uh, your brakes on your body that uh, and allows you to be the best one in tag fit and the same as me. I, I'm not flexible. I'm not mobile. Uh, but if you put your mind on that and you want to do it, you will do it. Mm -hmm. And we are the examples. And uh, that's what makes a great coach. Yeah. The great coach is not the best performer. It's the, the, the bad performer that has achieved that with hard training. And then this guy can help people because it has been hard to him to uh, to achieve that the struggle. Yeah, it's like the Scott. Struggle, yeah, it's Scott when he was young. He he had a lot of disabilities and and learning disabilities and and uh, he was weak also, and he became world champion mm -hmm. five times. Mm -hmm. Come on, <laughs> and his teaching and all and his, that he's giving his to so teaching. many people around the world. Yes, for me, he's a genius. Yeah, for me. And uh, also, like Marcel Cofrier, is another genius, the 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 air propulsive guy. So, and I'm very grateful and honored to be with them and uh, to learn from them as well. Uh, to I have many many uh, masters in my life, mm. uh, but uh, this this these two genius has changed my 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 way of thinking. I feel the same. Yes. Yeah. So very grateful. Yeah. Um, what uh, What are your plans? The next. Uh, the next. Uh, like the next life. Uh, <laughs> not the the our, our, this life, our <laughs> life right now, with tag fit and what would you like to see? <clears throat> I hyperpressive tag fit. Well, my my goal in my life, what I'm. What I'm living for is uh, to help people mm. because I love it. Mm. This makes me complete. And uh, that's what I want to do. And uh, the systems in which I trust, which is uh, TACFIT and, and hypopressives, is the two systems in which I trust. I really... I really think that uh, these two systems can, can help a lot of people mm. and uh, also can help a lot of trainers to improve their knowledge and to build their business mm -hmm. in, uh, in sports and fitness. So that's uh, this is what I want to do. This is what I want to do. The, and the I've future. done it, yes, I've done it in Spain mm -hmm. and uh, they recognized me. They, they, they awarded they, they me... The best trainer, right? Yes, mm -hmm. the best trainer because of this, not because I'm not, I'm the I have the best knowledge or no, I'm the best uh, training people. No, it's because I'm I'm sharing my knowledge. I'm sharing what I trust in, and uh, in the social media, in the TV, in different TV programs, in education. You know, so uh, I'm sharing a different style of living mm -hmm. and of training. So uh, I want to do that. My my goal is to do that in other countries as well. Uh, I'm going a lot to Brazil. I'm going a lot to South America as well. Mm -hmm. I went this year to Dubai to teach hypopressives. Uh, and, uh, well, starting here in the U.S., starting in the English countries, speaking countries, mm -hmm. because uh, I think uh, it's a great system and... You can, if if you start training with the hypopressives, it will change your life. The same as if you start training in TACFIT. So that's why uh, in TACFIT as well, I want to 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 help to grow the team, mm -hmm. you know, to to Im to increase the people that is is uh, certified. It's uh, but not just certified. To improve the knowledge of the system, mm -hmm. you know the the comprehension. Mm -hmm. uh, if they if they understand, so they spread, it, spread it the right way. The right way, yes. Because uh, I've seen many many people that uh, come to the different certifications, mm -hmm. 
and they just they just uh, get certified, get the diploma, mm-hmm. yes, the certification, piece and of then paper. Mm-hmm. the piece of paper, yes, and then, but they don't know, they 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 have lots of uh, diplomas, but they don't know how to how to really help people, mm-hmm. so uh, that's why I'm very strict, in in my in the systems I'm running. In hypopressives, I'm we are very strict on, and we we have uh, a written exam, well, a, a theoric, theor, theoric, theoretical Theoret- exam, uh-huh. and a practical exam, and uh, <coughs> it's a uh, fifty hours training, mm-hmm. and uh, once you have, it's the the hypopressive method, it's three days uh, certification, but after that you have to have to be one month. Uh, practicing mm. and correcting the the other uh, guys that came to the certification your your partners mm. and then you have another workshop and you have the practical exam it's one month oh wow so it's a lot of improvement that you can reach on this month but uh, you you if if i i ask you to train and I want you to train and to correct the other people. You will really understand and really uh, know the system. And this is what I want to do also in TechFit, to improve the, the, the education, improve how we teach people. And that's why I developed the academy in, in, in the Iberian Legion, because I felt I was seeing that when people was uh, f- uh, after the the certification finished the certification, they didn't understood the system. They just they were just uh, uh, performing the qualification test and uh, also uh, some exercises and different protocols and also the progressions regressions. But then they started to teach TACFIT and everyone was inventing. Come on, TACFIT is a closed system that allows you to open it to adapt. But it, it is a closed system. Uh, and it is designed to Im- improve your health and improve your fitness. So it is, I, I saw that uh, when, uh, even more in the team leaders, the team leaders, Interesting. They, just, they just did one certification and then they were preparing the, the next certif- certification with just three protocols. And I was asking some team leaders if they were uh, teaching TACFIT and they said, no, I'm not teaching TACFIT. And how can you be a team leader without teaching TACFIT? And do you know these exercises? Do you know these uh, protocols? Do you know? No, they, they didn't uh, knew the, the pro- deeply the, the, the protocol. So... And that's what I didn't want, and that's what I don't want in TechFit. In TechFit, if you if you are teaching TechFit as a field instructor, you have to be, uh, you have to know the system, know the the protocols, know the exercises, all the exercises, the progressions, the regressions, everything. If you are a senior instructor, you have to know not just the exercises. How to teach people, teach people to be an instructor, and how to help people to be an instructor, and how to develop new things. If you are a team leader, you become part of the educational team. So uh, the team leader is the is one educator. It's 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 a teacher of trainers, and uh, if you are a master trainer. You are the the man that is leading the, the the team leaders that is leading in in one country or one region. So uh, you have four dis- different stages, but the requirement for these levels it's it's not just perform. It is really understand, assist to the certifications, help people to be better, and then you can consider yourself a team leader or another level you know and that's that's what i want to do in 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 this yeah. uh, with this system 
and with the systems that I'm I'm teaching and to build a team with the same vision and the same beliefs you know and uh, I think I'm doing that I'm doing it in in Barcelona in Spain and uh, I'm doing it uh, I I think I can I'm doing it in in I progressives in different countries and I think we can do that in in Techfit as well for sure for sure yes. Well, I want to thank you again for uh, just everything you've done for me. You know, even uh, in your inspiration, yeah, as your example. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'll leave your help with my team leader, and I couldn't have done it without you. Thanks to you. Thanks to you and uh, for uh, hosting me and for uh, l teaching me as well how to be better in life. So I'm really excited for the work we can we can do together. Yes, for sure. How can people find you? How can people find me? They can they can find me in social media with uh, in Instagram uh, Nestor Serra, in uh, Facebook Nestor Serra Berdaguer also, uh, or in Hypopressive's uh, Hypopressive RSF, mm. which is the the fitness and sports brand, mm. uh, or in Chackfit. Uh, we can they can email me if they want. Of course, they can email me to. To my uh, to my address, uh, Nestor Serra B, like Victory, but it's from Verdaguer, <laughs> my second last name, uh, at gmail.com as well. So right. I'm open to everybody that uh, needs my help or wants to contact me. I I'm know. very Thank open. You. Thank you. Thank you, my friend. My pleasure.